Choo choo! All aboard! This ship is setting sail for Lisbon. Today, RTP and the EBU revealed the Eurovision 2018 slogan, All Aboard, and the logo, a very vaginal looking seashell, which will be rendered in 12 different ways, put up all over the city. Amazing, playing with the ocean theme. You guys, being totally honest, when I first heard All Aboard, I thought this is really cheesy. It's like very theme park or junior Eurovision. However, and this is important, when you situate it in the context of their theme about Portuguese exploration, the oceans uniting the world, bringing people together, you know, Portugal ruled the world from Angola to Brazil back to Portugal, you know, th this is a seafaring nation. There's a story here, and I think when you put it in the context of all of that, see the beautiful bridges, look at the Tagus River, it's going to be amazing. So let's not judge, let's wait and see the total package, because I have a feeling the total package is going to be amazing, because this is very thoughtful. Other countries, they've chosen slogans that are cheesy and there's no thought. This may be cheesy, but it's thoughtful and there's a narrative. Portugal really do love the sea. Um, because even like the Eurovision, Eurovision 2008 was about the sea. Eurovision 2015 was about the sea. Um, the change here is that it's a nice, positive, fresh, colourful song instead of like a lady dressed in black wailing a fado. But... See, it's hard to know what to make. Like, the slogans are always cheesy. You're not going to get something really clever in just two or three words. And it is kind of more authentic that it's kind of bringing people together and it's kind of got the same vibes as join us and come together. And it's lacks kind of, which I think is a good thing, kind of the false kind of political correctness of separate diversity and building bridges because, right, they're building bridges technically, but a lot of the countries hate each other, so it's not really genuine. Um so all aboard, it's not controversial. And um, like it's hashtag friendly, which is all the kind of things that they need nowadays as well. The logo is a bit strange. Some of it, I think it's nearly overcooked. They don't really need the yellow thing behind the shell, but it's kind of cool the way they have the different things that it does. And it'll be interesting to see that rendered on screen. It does feel like, I, I, I actually, when I first heard the slogan, I kind of laughed and thought, that's ridiculous, what are they doing? And now that I have kind of thought about it, I do prefer it to things like building bridges, celebrate diversity. I mean, that was like you had column one and column two of buzzwords, and you have to piece them together. Um, and this feels does feel quite genuine, and it doesn't feel overly manufactured or like, or, or stressed. It feels like it's come from Portugal, Yes, you can get the idea in the message, and I think it'll play across well um, in the in the show, in the stings that they do. All this, I think that'll work quite well. I kind of like the logo. It's nice. It's nothing that makes me go like, oh, this is amazing. But again, it 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 will all tie in quite nicely, I think. Yeah, they're looking at the big picture, which I think is important for the actual show. Like, I loved 2011. On your own, feel your heartbeat's a little lame. But then during the show... Germany, center of Europe, the heart, people from all the countries saying, feel your heartbeat in their language. It really worked. And this is going to work. Mm -hmm. um, all aboard, th this is interesting, to your point about people hating each other, murder on the Orient Express. Somebody's going to die. But we are all aboard together, honey. I like that, that idea. The 12 renderings, which you can see on Wibi Blogs, it's got a jellyfish. I think the jellyfish is actually the best one. That looks fantastic. A lot of them to me just look like the aerial shots of Altice Arena. <laughs> like they look like, but, but that's fine too. Um, and there's some really cool kind of, I don't know, like, is it seaweed? Is it mm -hmm. algae? <laughs> it's, I really like it. it it's very wonderful. I wonder, oriented. now that you say it, when you say it looks like an aerial shot, I guess then they're going to have the thing, the arena morph into the logo and have overhead shots and that kind of thing. Yeah. But I, I kind of, I'm hoping that they don't take the nautical theme to too, too much extremes. And that we kind of have like a giant version of Valentina Manetta's 2014 staging, <laughs> is actual stage, like a giant seashell or something. But um, like, I, because I imagine now that the stage is going to have to have some element of a boat or a seashell or something in it because everything else is so fishy. Oh, goodness. Could, yeah. Don't go to the buffet. Like Day old the, plan, the, I'm Copenhagen, sorry. the Copenhagen water thing. That was cool. So they could do something like that, actually have like water or something around the stage or play with that maybe. Um, or just have Ruth Lorenzo come out and just whip her wet hair all over the place. I don't know. Come up with something water themed, but 
don't just don't have like a water slide or a seashell or something on stage. Um, but no, I think I do think that they clearly thought it out already, and I think that they will. It will obviously play into the stage somehow. Um, but I, I kind of trust Portugal to not make it a massive cheese fest in the first time that they've ever hosted it. I think that they'll do something classy as well. So. Yeah, Robin, a Wubi blogger, um, she she described the logo as kind of mid-century, and I see that there's something, like, historic about it, which is very now, because it's quite trendy. Mm. And also, I was in Portugal a few weeks ago, and when you look at all of these logos together, it does feel Portuguese, like, the art, it just, you'll see this when you're there, there's, like, this tropical happy vibe, which, it is very Little Mermaid under the sea, but that's just what it is, like, it's a seafaring nation on the water, and, like, the coloring, it... It just seems authentic. One of you said authentic, and that's the perfect word. It, it feels real. And y'all, they got some good seafood up in Portugal. I had some, ooh, squid, some octopus, some fish, some tilapia. Damn! You're going to eat well. We're going to eat well in a few <laughs> months. It's going to be amazing. Mm-hmm. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you loving the logos? Do you like the seashell, the jellyfish, Altice Arena, or what? Let us know here on Gooey Blogs. Make sure to subscribe. And please like and comment below. Tell us what your favorite one of the logos is, or just tell us anything you want. We should run a poll on that. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. And we will see you later. Bye. 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 That's a good one. (laughs)